But mostly I love singing Working hard in class with all my mates As we glue and cut out and create But when we hear the school bell chime We run outside for our break time Come to my school, my school Come to school with me We all try our best here From nine till three Oh, come to my school, my school We read and write and count Fills me up, will always make me smile. Now the day is over, work's all done. Time to say goodbye to everyone. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for teaching me. I'll be back tomorrow. Wait and see. Come to my school, my school. Come to school with me. We all try our best here from nine till three. Oh, come to my school, my school. We read. Chickpea and her friends can't wait to meet their first visitor. Can you guess who he is? Here are some clues. This person gets up very early and carries a bag full of parcels and letters. Have you guessed yet? You're right. The postman. And look, here he is. Well done, everyone. Today's letter. S. S for school. S. Look. The animals are waiting for their next visitor. Can you guess who it is? Here are some clues. This person travels in a big fire engine and their job is to put out fires and rescue people. Do you know who it is? You're right again. A firefighter. And here she is. Well done, everyone. Time. Today's story is called Lennon and Fireman Sam's Helmet. It was dressing up day at the school and all the animals were very excited. Everyone apart from Lennon. Chickpea was dressed as a doctor as she wanted to be a doctor one day. Jangle's dream was to become a famous rugby player so she wore her scrum cap on her head. Scoff had his favourite football boots on because he loved football. Treacle was dressed up as a fairy with a pair of sparkly wings on her back. And Stomp and Chirp both wore red cloaks because they wanted to be superheroes. Lennon's hero was Fireman Sam and he'd been preparing his outfit for days. But when he got up that morning for school, he couldn't find his helmet anywhere. Oh, no, he said sadly. Where's my helmet? Someone must have borrowed it. He rushed to school to ask his friends if they had seen it. Well, doctors don't wear helmets, said Chickpea. 
Neither do rugby players, added Jangle. Don't look at me, said Scoff. A helmet would fall off my head when I score goals. I haven't seen it either, said Stomp. How about you, Chirp? asked Lennon. You've got a small head, and my helmet isn't very big. Have you borrowed it? No, sorry, replied Chirp. Treacle? Helmets don't go with my fairy wings, she replied. Lennon was feeling sad. Where on earth could it be? he wondered. Lennon's friends wanted to help him find his helmet so that he could dress up as Fireman Sam. When did you last see it? asked Chirp. Uh, I had it before going to sleep last night. I don't understand what's happened, said Lennon, scratching his head. Then, as Lennon scratched, something fell from the top of his head onto the floor. <gasps> Look! shouted all the animals, surprised and delighted. It's Fireman Sam's helmet! Lennon was so happy. I remember now. I was trying it on before bed and it must have got lost in my big hairy yellow mane. Everyone laughed. You had better get a bigger helmet next time, said Stomp. <laughs> Chickpea and her friends are waiting for their last visitor to arrive. This person wears a special uniform and their job is keeping people safe and helping people in trouble. Do you know who it is? You're right! A policeman! And here he is! Thanks everybody for guessing all the visitors correctly! It's nearly time for the animals to go home. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures of them in the classroom? Have you guessed yet? You're right! There's a book on the table in this picture, but not in this one. Well done, everyone, for spotting the difference. See you for more adventures with Chickpea and her friends next time. Come to my school, my school, come to school with me. We all try our best here from nine till three. Oh, come to my school, my school, we read and write and count and play. We're friends all together, hip hip hooray. Lunchtime we can jump and skip and run around for a while A tasty lunch that fills me up will always make me smile Now the dinner is over, work's all done, time to say goodbye to everyone Thank you Mr Jones for teaching me, I'll be back tomorrow, wait and see Come to my school, my school